<coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Bad timing. So here we are about, uh, God, it's been at least three hours since I was taking video outside from inside the window. Uh, and you can clearly see that because the population is over there, um, here in Lincoln County, it seems like they concentrate the spraying over eh, in the coastal area. We don't get it as much here. It's not changing the fact that I'm standing here with a mask. Um, didn't want to come a mole. Just don't like the fact I have to stay indoors. And uh, being from Southern California, I'm very familiar with how smog alerts work and how when the air is polluted, they will let you know and they would put out alerts. They would say unhelpful air. Well, this is unhelpful air, but they're not going to let you know that. They're definitely not going to let you know what's in it. They're not going to let you know that it's unhelpful. <clears throat> I was talking to my wife earlier, and um, in order to combat this, this madness of geoengineering, we believe that it's going to take the efforts of a movement not unlike uh, what we saw with the uh, 60s and 70s anti-nuke movement, where you know people were being called crazy because there was concern about above-ground nuclear testing and that uh, it couldn't possibly affect our, our atmosphere, which is a complete load of crap. Um, it's because of a movement like that, uh, various facilities were shut down, like here in Oregon, Trojan Nuclear Plant, Hanford in Washington, um, <clears throat> Washington State. Uh, you know, Margaret Mead, I uh, love that quote, never underestimate what a small group of people can do or small village or whatever it is so strengthen numbers but you know get out there record here we go right over here surprise the crow hasn't fallen out of the tree um <clears throat> document this document this i mean this is what we're doing now we're documenting the genocide of the human race in our planet and it's being done to us on a daily basis and if we don't speak up if we don't start a movement against it it's my, imagine if the Anti-nukes never succeeded, and we just kept doing above nuclear ground testing consistently. If you just think about what kind of planet you'd be living on. It's a lot to think about. Thanks.